Hello and welcome to my stamp studio. Today is day three of our farmer's market. Sorry for the lateness. My phone, for whatever reason, wasn't kicking off my live. So I'm sitting here talking away, thinking I'm live, and nope, I was not. So I just want to make sure that I am live right now. If you're joining me, say hello so I can see a comment pop up. It really helps me out. Okay. All right, so today we are going to work on making some cards to fill up spaces on our table at our craft fair or farmer's market. And these cards are going to be all the same. We're just going to change them up by using the different designer series paper. And you'll, uh, tomorrow night we'll be doing a little card folio so you can actually give them as a gift and have them all packaged up. But I'll show you a way to package them tonight as well. All right, so first I need this. So I have a piece of thick white here. And what I want to do, I just have to go grab my directions, my um, measurements here. If we don't have them, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. All right, let's see. Um, <laughs> just bear with me while I get them. And, oh my goodness. Okay. So let's see. Okay, I have some cardstock here. So we'll start with our cardstock. I have some peach uh, pie. I have some blackberry bliss. I also have a little bit of crumb cake and garden green. So we'll be doing some of that. Um, and we'll be using our to market designer series paper and also the coordinating stamp set our market goodness stamp set. So now I just need to find my directions still, which I don't know what I did with them. They're on my computer somewhere. I just need to find them. Let's see. It was a little lunch break. Here it is. Okay. All right. So all right, so we're going to first start with a piece of Blackberry Bliss. Now, this piece happens to measure eight and a half by five and a half, but we're going to cut it in half. So we will have a piece that measures five and a half by four and a quarter. So we'll actually have two pieces. So we'll go ahead and just cut that down. So we have our two pieces here. Uh, I'm going to pull in a piece of crumb cake here. And I'm going to measure this to be, oh, let's see, four and a quarter by six and a half. So I'm going to take it on this side and do my four and a quarter. Okay. We'll just put that piece away for later. And this will be six and one half. So let me just put this over here. And how can I multitask here? I just need to see what I'm looking at in the screen. So six and a half. All right. Don't do that piece away. We'll see you later. And, sorry about this. I'm just going to... There we go. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to score this in half. So we'll score it at three and one quarter. So we're putting a little card on our card base. All right. So here we go. So we've got those two pieces. You know what? We're going to make two cards right away. So let's just grab this other piece out and cut it at six and a half again. So we have two cards. And we'll score it at three and one quarter. All right. So we've got those two for these. And we're going to do it again with a piece of thick white. So let me move this out of the way. So I've got my thick white right here. So again, I'm going to just go ahead and cut this at six and a half right away. And I can use this piece to do my stamping on. And so now this needs to be four and a quarter. Oh, let's, you know what, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and score it too. That way I can cut it in half and it'll be all good. So this is no, wrong side. On the six and a half inch side is where I'm going to score it three and a quarter. I almost scored it wrong. What did I do here? Is this six and a half? Okay, that was. All right, on the short side there. 
I don't know what I was doing. All right, and then we'll cut this at four and a quarter. All right, there we go. I don't know. I was getting so goofed up with that. Okay, so we got those two pieces. We do need some designer series paper. So I'm going to pull out a couple different sheets here. We're going to pull this one out. And this one, let's see. I like this one. But I really do like the little bags in here. So I think we're going to skip this one for now. We'll come back to that piece later on. Okay. So my next piece here is going to measure... And I should just probably print my directions so I can see it at one time here. Where did they go? Ugh. Oh, where'd it go? Here it is. Okay, so my first designer series paper has to be two and three quarters by five and a quarter. So I want my pattern to go this way, so I'm going to slide in and go to two and three quarters inch. And then I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter. five and a quarter now tomorrow you're gonna love the envelope that will hold all these cards all right so we've got that and on this piece I need to cut this at three by four so this needs to be three inches wide so when I'm cutting this I'm trying to see that I'm getting at least a whole piece of the bags in there. I think I'm going to slide it over here. And I'm just going to trim this off here. And now I'll come over and so I'm just moving my paper around to see where I'm going to end up cutting. So I cut those right in half. I don't really want to cut those in half. Mm hmm. Well, I guess I'm not going to really have a choice here, am I? Okay. Well, just decide where you want your purses to land. We'll do this one. Sure, why not? Okay, ready? Here we go. Three inches. Just sometimes you got to chop up that paper. And this needs to be by four. I'm going to turn it this way and see where I cut. Nope. We'll go back this way. So I've got four inches here. And... Four inches here. All right. So just cut your paper up however you want it to look. All right. So got those. Let's bring in our other papers here. All right. So we've got our two card bases. And again, it's not a full card because this is actually your card right here. I just need to get my bone folder here and grab these pieces and give them a really good press because they're not quite sitting the way I want. All right. Here we go. All right, we're going to grab our two longer pieces here, and we're going to adhere that right to our card front, just like that and that. And let me get my adhesive. All right. That's also a pretty pretty pattern, too. We could use that. Maybe we'll use that on the other card. All right. <clears throat> we'll see. All sorts of different options when you're working with designer series paper. All right, so I'm laying that one there. And let's go back to my feed here so I can see what's going on. And we'll put this one here. Now you can make this card design with any designer series paper that you have. So I'm just going to put this right on the front here. Have one right here. Other piece right here. All right. Okay, so now we're going to adhere those two to the front. Make sure you use enough adhesive because that's the card that's going to be open and closed all the time. All right. Now we'll put this right there. Okay. Now, I really like these two little bags, so we're just going to fussy cut them out. 
I'll leave a little bit of white edge around it. Do, 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 do. Right, so. I've got to watch the time because we've got grandchildren over today and I've got a team meeting tonight. So just want to make sure I'm just being aware of my time. Sometimes those little stinkers are <clears throat> keep me from getting some stuff done. I love being with them though. I love the time that I get to have with them. A lot of people don't get to see their children, their grandchildren as much as I do, so I'm going to appreciate it and not complain about it. All right, so I think we'll use this one on here and this one on here. They all kind of blend in, so we just need to pop it up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in just a circle punch. Now, by any means, you can use a die. You can use, you know, whatever you have handy. But I'm just going for speed sake. When I'm trying to do a mass production of things, I like to be able to save time. So I'm going to actually just take a piece of this. I'm going to cut out two circles. One, two. All right. Okay, I'm going to put that on the front here. Oh, and I didn't think about that. It's not going to really pop out very well there. So I think we'll do this one in white. So, let's make sure I have a die cut machine up here. Because, again, I've been working, so they've been going downstairs a lot. All right. Um, I think I'm going to use my deco circles. I think that will be fun. All right. So, we'll grab our... I don't want to make it too big. That should work. Yeah, that should work fine. So... I said on this one, I think actually I could just go right there with it. Yeah, put a little sentiment there. Okay, so we could do that one. And this one, I need a piece of white. Or, I don't know. It's just not going to pop up. Yeah, I need white. So let's just grab uh, one of those leftover chunks of white that I had. What did I do with it? There it is. And we'll just run this through the die cut machine real quick. So I've got my little mini but mighty die cutting machine here. And I should have two. Uh-oh. What happened to my other? There it is. I fell on the floor. We're, we're all good now. We got it. All right. I just need to trim down this cardstock so I can run it through my die cut machine here. And while I'm doing it, I might as well cut out a label. So I'm using my deco circle die. And we will use, now my deco rectangles are downstairs. So let's see how that sentiment works with one of our stamps here. So let's see, will that fit on there? It sure will. So we're going to do that. And then I'll need another one for my other tag. Okay. So here we go. Let's run these through real quick. <clears throat> so sometimes it's nice to just to have just like thinking of you cards or something like that just readily available and they're also a great gift to give people. that one and one more I need the space here one more tag all right do, 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 do. all right okay let's get going with that all right, so let's stamp our sentiments. We're going to go ahead and take our Blackberry Bliss. And on one of them, we're going to say hello. On the other one, we'll say thanks a bunch. <clears throat> so let's get our block here. Let's 
So let's do it. Thanks a bunch. And I kind of like it with this one. And now my hello. You knew I had to say it like that, right? Now this stamp pad is not as juicy as my other one. So those are a little bit lighter than they normally would be. All right. With that and that. We're going to take some linen thread now. So when your man's producing too, think about the cost that it uh, will be when you're doing these. So let's see where my other... Here's my white deco and that little purse. Kind of like just the one that's right there. So let's go ahead and we'll adhere that one on. Then we're going to take some dimensionals and pop up the other part. All right, so there's my circle. We'll take my dimensionals here. And I'm going to put those three like that because I'm going to try and slide my tag under there just a little bit. So now we've got a cute little purse there. Hello. Okay, we'll just put a little hello right there. Probably could have moved this down a little bit. All right, let's put that on dimensionals. All right, just a little different kind of, just a little different way to make a card. All right, so there's that first one. And now let's get our second one going here. Oh, I was going to put a little ribbon on there. Okay, let's just go ahead and tie this real quick. Let's see how fast I can tie a bow. All right, I've got 10 minutes to do the other card. I'm just going to tuck that right there, just like that. All right, let's get this one. <clears throat> this one we'll put right here. And then we'll do our first bunch here. Oh, come on. Come on, Dimensional. All right, so I've got that one. I think we're going to go a little lower. Okay. Just make sure when you have that hanging off that your card's going to open. Okay, so don't go too far off. And we've got our thanks a bunch. So we're just going to tuck that right there. And we'll go ahead and tie another bow. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get to the other cards. The other cards will be designed the same way. We're just going to use some different paper, uh, still from the Market Goodness paper. Grab our little bow here, scrunch our glue dot, and I think this time we'll actually just put it right above that bag. Okay. Let's get to our next set of cards. So we're going to be using our, um, where did it go? Our peach, our peach card stock. And I just had it and I don't know what I did with it. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. And we're going to take which paper? I'm going to take some of this green, I feel like. Although, you know, this is one of my favorite papers, too. We use that green. Hmm. That might be fun together. Let's do that. And tomorrow night when I oh I need that for tomorrow night. I know we're not gonna use that one. We'll use this one. And 
this one, there we go. That should be, okay, that can be the front, okay. We got it, we got enough here. All right, so again, two and three quarters by five and a quarter. I think that's what this is, right? Oh. Five and a quarter here, five and a quarter here. All right. Ooh, that's a pretty side, too. You know what? I kind of like that better. Let's do that side. Okay. So, again, we're going to cut this one in half. So, one layout, four different cards. You know, when you're trying to assemble things quickly and uh, mass produce, you really want to stay with a simple pattern, and that way you can get things done quickly. However, you know, it is fun to create some really unique designs and give it that little extra. Um, that would not be something I'd do in mass quantities. Like this, I could probably just crank out, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 cards. And usually I'll group the cards in fours and fives. All right, so we've got that. We've got our front here, our front here. This needs to be three by four. I don't think this is three or six inches. So we might have to just pull out that other larger piece. Yeah, this isn't well. Yeah, it's not long enough. So we're not going to grab that one right now. All right, grab the other piece. Whew. All right, so we're gonna do this, this is six inches, okay. So I just need to cut this at four inches. Shoot. I've got my three inches here. Wow, I wasn't really thinking about that at all. I don't know what I did. Well, I know it's three by four that I need. All right. Okay, let's see. It's almost 6 30. The reason I'm hurrying is my husband has to be somewhere, so I do kind of have to watch the time because he needs to leave shortly. All right. All right, we're going to hear those on, and I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to continue this tomorrow night. So, tomorrow night at 7 uh, 30. We are going to make a little card folio for this. You'll see the finished card. I'll have these all set for us. We're going to see the envelopes and how I stamped that. And then we're going to put it all really together. So I'm going to give you a little sneak peek into this tomorrow night. And it's just a fun little way to put all your cards all together. So join me tomorrow night at 7.30 right here and we'll be doing the card folio and put the cards in that we just made tonight into that. All right. See you tomorrow night. Bye.